Welcome to Morning Prayer with St. Francis <clears throat> on Tuesday, July 18th, following the seventh Sunday after Pentecost. I was glad when they said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim, proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 100. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. Be joyful in the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. Give judgment for me, O God, for I have lived with integrity. I have trusted in the Lord and have not faltered. Test me, O Lord and try me. Examine my heart and my mind. For your love is before my eyes. I have walked faithfully with you. I have not sat with the worthless, nor, have, nor do I consort with the deceitful. I have hated the company of evildoers. I will not sit down with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocence, O Lord, that I may go in procession around your altar. Sing aloud a song of thanksgiving in recounting all your wonderful deeds. Lord, I love the house in which you dwell and the place where your glory abides. Do not sweep me away with sinners, nor my life with those who thirst for blood, whose hands are full of evil plots and their right hand filled with bribes. As for me, I will live with integrity. Redeem me, O Lord, and have pity on me. My foot stands on level ground. In the full assembly will I bless the Lord. Psalm 28. O Lord, I call to you, my <clears throat> rock. Do not be deaf to my cry, lest if you do not hear me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my prayer when I cry out to you, when I lift up my hands to your holy of holies. Do not snatch me away with the wicked or with the evildoers, who speak peacefully with their neighbors while with strife in their hearts. Repay them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their actions. According to the work of their hands, repay them and give them their just deserts. They have no understanding of the Lord's doings, nor of the works of his hands. Therefore, he will break them down and not build them up. Blessed is the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my prayer. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and I have been helped. Therefore, my heart dances for joy, and in my song will I praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people, a safe refuge for his anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Shepherd them and carry them forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
a reading <clears throat> from the first book of Samuel. Saul spoke with his son Jonathan and with all his servants about killing David. But Saul's son Jonathan took great delight in David. Jonathan told David, My father Saul is trying to kill you. Therefore, be on guard tomorrow morning. Stay in a secret place and hide yourself. I will go out and stand beside my father in the field where you are, and I will speak to my father about you. If I learn anything, I will tell you. Jonathan spoke well of David to his father Saul, saying to him, The king should not sin against his servant David, because he has not sinned against you, and because his deeds have been of good service to you. For he took his life in his hands when he attacked the Philistine, and the Lord brought about a great victory for all Israel. You saw it and rejoiced. Why then will you, will you sin against an innocent person by killing David without cause? Saul heeded the voice of Jonathan. Saul swore, As the Lord lives, he shall not be put to death. So Jonathan called David and related all these things to him. Jonathan then brought David to Saul, and he was in his presence as before. Again there was a war, and David went out to fight the Philistines. He launched a heavy attack on them, so that they fled before him. Then an evil spirit from the Lord came upon Saul, as he sat in his house with his spear in his hand, while David was playing music. Saul sought to pin David to the wall with the spear, but he eluded Saul, so that he stuck the spear into the wall. David fled and escaped that night. Saul sent messengers to David's house to keep watch over him, planning to kill him in the morning. David's wife, Michal, told him, If you do not save your life tonight, tomorrow you will be killed. So Michal let, let David down through the window. He fled away and escaped. Michal took an idol and laid it on the bed. She put a net of goat's hair on its head and covered it with clothes. When Saul sent messengers to take David, she said, He is sick. Then Saul sent the messengers to see David for themselves. He said, Bring him up to me in the bed, that I may kill him. When the messengers came in, the idol was on the bed with the coverings of goat, hair, of goat hairs on its head. Saul said to Michal, Why have you deceived me like this and let my enemy go? so that he has escaped. Michal answered Saul, He said to me, Let me go, why should I kill you? Now David fled and escaped. He came to Samuel in Ramah and told him all that Saul had done to him. He and Samuel went and settled in Naoth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A song of praise. Glory to you, Lord, God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you in the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you, seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven. Glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. When he returned to Capernaum after some days, it was reported that he was at home. So, ma so many gathered around that there was no longer room for them, not even in front of the door. 
and he was speaking the word to them. Then some people came, bringing to him a paralyzed man, carried by four of them. And when they could not bring him to Jesus because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him. And af after having dug through it, they let down the mat on which the paralytic lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there, questioning in their hearts, Why does this fellow speak in this way? It is blasphemy. Who can forgive sins but God alone? At once Jesus perceived in his spirit that they were discussing these questions among themselves, and he said to them, Why do you raise such questions in your hearts? Which is easier? To say to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven? Or to say, stand up and take your mat and walk? But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, I say to you, stand up, take your mat, and go to your home. And he stood up and immediately took the mat and went out before all of them so that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A song to the <clears throat> Lamb. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God, from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe, I believe in God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, that we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them, now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. The Collect of the Day O Lord, mercifully receive the prayers of your people who call upon you, and grant that they may know and understand what things they ought to do and also may have grace and power faithfully to accomplish them. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A Collect for Peace O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies. 
that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A prayer for mission. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The General Thanksgiving Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Amen. A prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church, and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen.